People who use Tesla's full self-driving software are typically divided into two camps. One that believes that the current hardware is all that's necessary to get the car to level four or robo-taxi, which means that no person is required in the car for the car to drive. And then the other group who thinks that there are hardware limitations on getting to that point. I fall into the latter group. Not only do I believe that we'll see computer upgrades before we get to level four, but I think we'll also see camera upgrades as well. There are the distance and resolution issues that Chuck Cook has talked about plenty of times before, but I also think there are limitations on what the camera can see in certain conditions. Now, the biggest thing that I've seen, and Rocco has shown this as well here in Asheville, um, is that there are places where you absolutely have to lean forward and look over the steering wheel to be able to see around a blind corner, whether it's from a wall or a bush or a fence, and there is no room for the car to pull forward anymore into the road. So what I wanted to do is just make a video to explain this a little bit further because I think there's some confusion whenever I talk about this on Twitter, um, I think the character limitation and, and trying to explain it in text just doesn't work. So here's an example I've shown a couple of times in my town. The road is really narrow. There's a building right next to the road with a narrow sidewalk and then no shoulder space in the road to pull into. On top of that, the road actually angles slightly around the buildings. I have to lean all the way over the steering wheel just to see left. Some will say to angle the car, but due to how steep this hill is, how narrow the street is, and where the curb is, there's no room to angle the car here. So here's a satellite view of this area. The satellite view is pretty rough, so I made this graphic to show more clearly um, what this area looks like. So now I'll place cars on the map. I've put the oncoming car about 50 feet from the intersection, and you'll see why in a minute. The speed limit here is 20 miles per hour, which means most people are driving around 25 miles per hour, with frequent 30 mile per hour drivers since the road is used as the only detour when there's an accident on I-40, which is almost daily. Sometimes you even get people going over 30 miles per hour, which is stupid on this road, but that doesn't really stop them. At 25 miles per hour, you would travel 50 feet in just under one and a half seconds, and at 34 miles per hour, it would be right at one second. So using the graphics from Tesla's website, you'll see that the front facing wide angle lens does not see left and right at all. This camera is useless for this situation. Green the Only on Twitter confirmed this showing footage from his wide angle camera in a similar situation. It just cannot see left and right. Next, we have the B pillar cameras. Now many people will say that the B pillar can see, but due to being back so far in the car, a car just 50 feet away in this situation is actually blocked by the building, unless you were to pull the nose of the car into the road. Now at this point, with just one to one and a half seconds, you better hope the oncoming car is paying attention and slams on the brakes or is able to swerve around you if you pull out. As I said before, I have to lean over the steering wheel to see here. And finally, we've got the fender camera, aka repeater. Now you might say the repeater can see here. This is also incorrect. As you can see, the repeater sees at an angle beside and behind you. It does not even see 90 degrees to the side. Even if you angled the car slightly, it wouldn't see in this case. In this situation, none of the cameras can see. Some people have mentioned that maybe you could move the B-pillar cameras to the mirror housing, which would help, but would require new wiring harnesses and who knows what else. It would be a big expense to Tesla and require huge changes. Some people have suggested adding additional side-facing cameras in the front bumper or fog lights, which would definitely allow the car to see where a human can't, but again, would require new wiring and additional compute power to handle more video streams at the same time. So, is there an easy solution to this? I think so. I noticed in this keynote from June 22nd, 2022, from a shock, uh, and I'm not going to say his name because I'm going to butcher it, um, he's the director of Autopilot Software at Tesla, when he shows this rendering of the car angling to turn right, and this is a, a much different case than what I'm talking about, but when, when the car angles to turn right, 
the angle of the repeater cameras in the graphic were slightly forward, not 90 degree and not facing back, but slightly forward compared to what's in the Tesla graphic and what we actually see on our screens when we view the repeater cameras. Some people have said that they're probably including the B pillar here as well, but the B pillar sees much further forward than this. And the lines on the rendering are actually coming directly off the fender, not off of the B pillar as well. Also, if viewing the B pillar, you would actually see part of the occluded area in his video, as I'm showing here. Um, I'm 100% convinced what he's showing is updated repeater camera views. So back to my situation, the current repeater cameras can only see back and beside the car. But watch what happens when I update this graphic with the angles used in his video. The repeater cameras can now see down the road. The entire blind spot created by the building is now visible. So I think what we'll end up seeing to get to level four is an updated computer, which a lot of people agree on that, and then swap out the repeater cameras with a wider angle, higher resolution camera. The cameras take about five minutes to swap out a piece and would be minimal cost, but would increase visibility in a huge way. These cameras would see to the left before even I could while leaning over the steering wheel. Now this small change would make the car superhuman in their ability to see, even in these blind turns, uh, with minimal cost and effort from Tesla. So, do you think the cameras will have to be upgraded to get to RoboTaxi, aka level four? Or do you think the cameras we have now will work just fine? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.